From around the globe, it's theCUBE with digital coverage of AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hi and welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman and this is theCUBE's coverage of Amazon Web Services Public Sector Awards for their partners. Really interesting, we get to talk to people around the globe and we talk to the, the vendors, the award winners, as well as their customers who have some interesting projects. So happy to welcome to the program. Coming to us from Argentina, I have Leo Bracco. He is the Latin American Executive Director for Cloudhesive and joining him, his customer, Carolina Chintian. She is the Director of the Political Institution Program at CPAC. CPAC, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right, so Leo, first of all, let's, let's start with you if we could. So Cloudhesive, first of all, congratulations. You were the nonprofit Thanks. sector award winner for cybersecurity solutions. Of course, anybody that knows public sector, it's, there's the government agencies, there's nonprofits, and there's education. The cybersecurity, of course, you know, went from the top priority to the top, top priority here in 2020. Yes. So if you could just give us a snapshot uh, of, of Cloudhesive for our customers. Well, uh, Cloudism is a, it's a US based company established uh, six years ago in 2014. And we decided a couple of years ago to move to, to Latin America and to start working with Latin America customers. Uh, our uh, offices are in Argentina right now. And one of the focus that we have in the solutions that we give to our customers is security. We work on services to help companies to reduce the cost, increase productivity, and watch the security posture. So we've been working uh, a long time ago to many NPOs uh, and seeing how they can leverage their solutions and how they can give secure, um, how to be secure in, in, in the world, right? In the internet. All right, okay, Carolina, if you could tell us a little bit about the CPAC and maybe then you know, tee us up as the, 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 the project uh, that you're working on. Okay, thank you. So CPAC uh, uh, is a um, nonprofit, a think tank, nonprofit organization, independent organization uh, that uh, aims to deliver better public policies in different areas, in economic development, in social protection and state and government. My particular program, the political institutions program goal is, or the mission is basically to promote evidence-based uh, decision to, decisions to improve democratic processes and to guarantee civil and political uh, rights across all the country. So we work on issues such as improving uh, election administration, uh, legislative uh, work, representation, uh, and that's our area of work. Wonderful, so sounds like a phenomenal project. Leo, if you could uh, help us understand, well, you know, where did Cloudhesive get involved in this project? Was there an existing uh, relationship already or is it for, for a specific rollout? Uh, to, to tell, tell us about, the, obviously, the security angles are a big piece. No, uh, we didn't have a, uh, a previous engagement with them. They come to us. Uh, with a very short time to elections, and they need to uh, they need a secure solution. So we first have to analyze the actual solution, how it works, technology involved, the current infra that they have. Then we have to understand the challenge that they are facing. They need uh, they have a very public side. They need to go public, and they need to be very secure. And the last, uh, we have to develop a fast migration strategy. We knew that AWS was the perfect fit for the need. So we just have to align a good strategy with the customer need. And all this has been done in less than 72 hours that there was our deadline to elections. Wow, <laughs> that, talk about fast. Uh, Carolina, yeah. help us understand a little bit, uh, you know, had, had your organization, had you been using uh, cloud before? Uh, 72 hours and is definitely an aggressive uh, timeline. So help us understand a little bit as to what went into making your decision, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, 72 hours, a uh, super tight time, time frame. Super, super short, yeah, that was a big challenge. So let me uh, tell you more about uh, what we do and the context. 
so Argentina holds elections, national elections, every every two years. In each election year, CPEX tries to generate and systematize analysis of provincial and national elections with the goal of informing key actors in the electoral processes. This is uh, decision makers, uh, political parties, uh, media, and general population. So as our first experience in 2017 with the Informed Voter Project, we had this uh, collaboration with the national electoral authorities in which we created a landing page in our website where you could find as a voter all of the information you need to go and cast your vote throughout the entire elect election process, meaning from uh, the campaign stage, uh, election administration details, uh, polling places, uh, uh, electoral offer, participation, etc. So that was a landing page hosted in our website. And in 2017, we managed to have a button in every eligible voter in Argentina Facebook feed. So you could go click there and go to our, our website, right? And have all of the information summarized and in a very simple way, straightforward way. So what happened in the 2017 election day is that the button was so successful that the landing page made our server to collapse in the first hours of the election day. So we learned a huge lesson there, which was that we had to be prepared in 2019 if we wanted to repeat this experience. And that is how we get to Cloud Hesse. <laughs> Wonderful. Leo, if you could help us understand a little bit architecturally what's going on there, uh, what was Cohesive doing, uh, what AWS services were, were leveraged? Perfect. Um, well, we need re reliability, performance, scalability, of course, and the main thing, security. So we have no doubt about the cloud and all the differentials of AWS. So we, our main question was about how do we align the right services to give the best solution to the customer? So we did a kind of strategy with S3 CloudFront, and we at the same time been monitorizing everything with CloudTrail and securing the public's access to all of this information. So that gave us a perfect fit for the solution, a very easy solution and very, uh, of course, scalable, but more than anything, we we could uh, improve the customer experience in very, very small amount of time. So this is a very simple um, solution that, but that fits perfect for the customer. Wonderful. Okay, Carolina, if, if you could tell us, you know, how did things go? What lessons have you learned? Uh, anything along the way uh, that, that you would uh, give feedback to your peers or other organizations that were looking to do something similar? Yeah, well, the 2017 experience was a, a, a very, a, a very uh, tough experience for us because we've been preparing uh, for election day uh, during the uh, two, 2016 and 2017, and the infrastructure was the limit we had in that point. So we couldn't afford. A, we have a commitment with informing voters and in informing key actors on election election process, and these key actors uh, are expecting that information on election day, before and after. So the lesson there is we cannot be limited by the infrastructure. So assuming that in 2019, that the landing page would receive a similar amount or a huge amount of traffic volume visits uh, on the election day, basically uh, a, we, we knew that a traditional hosting service uh, had no uh, couldn't fulfill those needs. So we had to go beyond traditional. And the partner was critical uh, to help us to the migration to the cloud. Yeah, Leo, maybe you could speak a little bit to that, to the scalability. And of course, nonprofits very sensitive to costs 
uh, involved in, in these solutions. So help us understand, you know, the, those underpinnings of, of leveraging, you know, AWS specifically uh, and Cloudhesive, how, how this meets their needs and, and still is financially uh, makes sense. Perfect. Um, when, when, when you have these kind of solutions, of course, your first concern is, okay, how do I make a scalable solution that fits on the, just on this moment that they need uh, the behavior for so many infrastructure involved, and then at the other day, they need no infra at all. But you have another two big uh, things that you have to focus on. One is the security. You need to monitor all the behavior of the content and pay attention to any external menace. You have, you have one 24 hour day uh, so you need to be very responsibility and high sensitive information that the customer has on the set of data there. It's a good to say that we have no security incidents and no security breach during the most public stage of the project. Uh, so that, that was very good for us. So the next thing is from the delivery perspective. So you have a potential pick of people over the side. So you should manage the content delivery network to answer all the requirements. You must be able to cache the contents in cloud front so you have and you can achieve your goals, right? And what I can say is about numbers. We achieve more than 99.5 efficiency hit rate to over the CDN if that's over cloud front. And we kept server CPU usage below 10% all the time. So this was a major uh, success for us. You know, like we have no trouble, we use things at the most, and, and most of anything, the customer has the security, everything uh, looked up from, from our perspective. Sorry. Leo, one follow-up if I could. Uh, if you look at yes. 2020, uh, being able to scale and respond uh, to the, the changes in workload, and re be able to stay secure uh, when you know bad actors. Uh, many people are working at home, but doesn't mean the bad actors aren't out there. We've actually seen an increase uh, in, in security uh, attacks. So, just just do you have any commentary overall about what, what, what's happening more recently uh, and what you see in, in your space? Yeah, well, we are very focused right now, and uh, well, security is being each time bigger, right? Uh, one of the biggest menace to security is our own, uh, our own team because we have to keep uh, our teams out to line to the process and understanding the security as a first step uh, doing things well from the network perspective. Then we, are, we have a good, very good experience over this, this last two years with all the um, security um, tools that AWS is seeking to the market. So uh, we now have CloudTrail, we can do many things with WAF, we are working towards of new good security solutions. Okay, so I think this, this will be the future. We have to focus ourselves in these two pillars. The first pillar is, okay, what we can do on our own network and the other pillar is all the tools that AWS is giving us so we can manage security from a new perspective. Carolina, last question that I have for you is, you know, look forward a little bit if you, if you will. Uh, are there things that you'll be looking to do in, in future uh, election cycles or anything else uh, from, from, a, uh, from this project uh, that, that you could expect going forward? Yeah, definitely we're going to repeat this experience in 2021. Uh, so, and um, trying to uh, think of the success, uh, the success was the 2019, um, 2019 uh, election cycle and in this particular informed voter project, uh, we might want to uh, we might want to keep uh, doing this uh, for next election cycles, not only 2020, but, but uh, for the future. All right, and Leo, uh, la last, last piece for you. Uh, for, first of all, congratulations yes. again, winning best cybersecurity solution uh, for nonprofit. Uh, just you know, talk a little bit if you would, but your partnership with AWS and, and specifically you know, the requirements and what you see in the nonprofit segment. Well, we see that uh, the nonprofit are 
grow in lots, so they will need very good scalable solutions. We'll see that uh, all the focus that we have in on security is the next need because we have been working on these towers that to the future, the solutions kept growing each time, the networks are growing each time, the traffic is growing. So the focus on the security will be one of the appendix of our work in the future. And I think that's, that's, that's the biggest issues that we are gonna have, okay? Having good engineers, good hard work can manage the challenge and consolidate all the solution as a need. Right now we are um, we're working on many, many projects with different NPOs and we're working towards that they have the solution that fits them. And of course, we try to keep uh, in all the public sector, we, we try to keep uh, the cost at, 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 at the range level that we can afford, our customers can afford. All right, that's, that's the second big problem that we have. Well, Carolina, congratulations on, on the progress with your project. Thank you so much for joining us. And Leo, th thank you uh, again for joining us and congratulations you. to you and the Cloud Ace team uh, for winning the award. Thanks. Thank you very much. All right, and stay tuned for more coverage. It's a cube at the AWS Public Sector Partner Awards. I'm Stu Miniman, thanks for watching.